Close a spokesperson for the airport told reporters the wind blew away the thick ash that has been spewing from Mount Agung for days. Video provided by Newsy News Look the eruption of Mount Agung on the Indonesian island of Bali continues to spew volcanic ash over the area and has forced 100,000 people to flee. The nation's disaster mitigation agency said Indonesia's alert status was raised to its highest level in anticipation of the possibility and imminent risk of disaster due to the ongoing eruption of Mount Agung. The volcano's last major eruption in 1963 killed about 1,100 people. Overall, volcanic eruptions in Indonesia aren't unusual. The country has more than 139 known volcanoes and a few are erupting at any given time, said Eric Clemetti, a geoscientist at Denison University. Close Indonesia raised its volcano alert to its top level on Monday due to the erupting Mount Agung volcano. A mass evacuation was ordered for tens of thousands. Tens of thousands more were stranded when Bali's international airport was closed. November 27 Absinabung on Sumatra has been erupting more or less constantly for the last few years, he said. More Bali raises volcano alert, orders 100,000 to evacuate from Mount Agung and although it's technically in the infamous ring of fire of volcanoes and seismic activity around the Pacific, Clemetti said that doesn't really matter. There is no connection between the volcanoes along the ring other than they mostly lie around the edges of the Pacific Ocean, and Agong really doesn't even do that, as it between the Java Sea and Indian Ocean, he said. Fortunately, although Agong is blowing its top, that doesn't mean other volcanoes in the region are going to erupt too. The activity at Agong does not change the likelihood of any other Indonesia volcano erupting, Clemetti said. Volcanoes are not connected in that way, so one eruption doesn't trigger another at a separate volcano, he added. Finally, although 100,000 people had to be evacuated, the region that's at risk is primarily agriculture and villages. Indonesia has extensive plans for evacuations when their volcanoes start to erupt. So there is a structure in place to help deal with the exodus, Clemetti said. While the area is about the same as New York City, it's nothing like trying to evacuate that massive city, which is home to some 8 million people, contributing Deutsche Wellread or share this story http 2 jo 66